Papa, are you armed right now? Um, that's it. Okay. Every day, police officers enforce the state's drunk driving laws. But in recent months, several of those arrests have been of police officers themselves. Put your hands at your side. I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. You don't want to do it? You want to refuse? No. I'm not refusing, I'm not doing it. On New Year's Day, Milwaukee officer Michael Bowden was busted for driving drunk with his gun in the car. Look forward towards me. A week later, it was officer Anthony Rivera. You have a lot of damage to the front of your car. I, because of that flat tire, I swerved off the road and I stopped here. Police say Rivera crashed his truck into the guardrail on I-43. Two weeks ago, Wauwatosa cited officer Derek Ertel for driving drunk with an expired registration. And the morning after the Packers-Giants playoff game, during training here at the academy, another officer blew into a breathalyzer and registered a .04. A police source tells 12 News that suggests the officer was legally drunk when he worked the preceding night shift, driving a squad car and carrying a gun. He's now under investigation. Milwaukee police refused requests to discuss the issue, so 12 News enlisted the help of two law enforcement experts, both former cops. Rick Cole is an attorney currently teaching police science at MATC. Criminologist Philip Stinson is a professor at Bowling Green State. Police officers don't like to arrest other police officers, and that's especially true with drunk driving. Stinson is a former cop who studies crimes committed by police officers, largely because neither state nor federal governments track it. He says of all officer arrests nationwide, 15% of them are for drunk driving. But in Wisconsin, 25% of officer arrests are for drunk driving. Either they're catching them more often or they drink and drive more often. I don't know which. Stinson's research suggests cops generally face arrest for DOI when there's an aggravating factor the arresting officer can't ignore. They drive into fire hydrants. They flip their cars over into ditches. Things that you can't explain without writing a report or calling a supervisor or a tow truck. Are you suggesting that Cops drive drunk far more often than we know? Oh, absolutely. But Stinson says the culture is changing. Drunk driving isn't as tolerated as it was in the past, and penalties are stiffer. I think younger police officers are not as tolerant of police officers drinking and driving. Police officers are human. Rick Cole spent eight years as a Kenosha deputy and now trains recruits at MATC. He says police work has always been stressful. And these days, the curriculum includes wellness coursework that addresses stress management, substance, and alcohol abuse. You would think people should know better, but isn't that the core issue when somebody uses alcohol? Sometimes your best judgment gets pushed aside and you make a poor choice. Yeah. None of the officers we reported on here has had a prior DUI. MPD says it's now conducting internal investigations on all four of the officers, Joyce. But I know MPD has been mum on the scope of the problem. I know you've asked how many other officers may have been arrested for a well, DUI. Well, and we haven't received an answer. We also wanted to know if the department even tracks such arrests. We asked if officers must notify the department if they get a DUI, and we asked for a copy of the department's policy on drunk driving. Now, we've given MPD several weeks to respond, but we are still waiting for an answer, Joyce. Well, we will follow up if we ever do get a response. Thank you, Colleen.